Well, Paso Locomotive FC have lost just once in their last 15 matches. They have zero defeats at all in their last nine games since a horrible start to the 2022 campaign. First year head coach John Hutchinson's squad has easily been one of the best teams in all of USL. A big reason why of late has been the play of midfielder Eric Calvillo. He returned from international duty with El Salvador late last month. And in El Paso's last three matches, Calvillo has a trio of goals, including on a free kick at the death last Saturday to give Locomotive FC a point on the road at Atlanta United. Too. Now, his increased role within El Paso's attack has been part of a calculated attempt to get him more involved. There has been, you know, a lot of communication on the staff part and working with me in my game and where they think I can improve in. And that's one of the main aspects on why I guess you're seeing me more, you know, staying up higher and joining the attack and entering the box, you know, these times and, you know, getting behind some of these, uh, some crosses and finishes. It's been in good form for us. It's not just the goal, it's not the assist, it's what he does around the ball. And, uh, you know, he came off the bench and, and done really well and got us going forward. Some big news for El Paso today. Sources confirming to KTSM that 18-year-old Inter-Miami midfielder Edison Ascona will be on loan with Locomotive. He played for the Dominican Republic at the CONCACAF U-20 Championships last week, helping the DR get a spot on the 2024 Olympics. It is still unclear if he'll be in a uniform for El Paso this Saturday when they host Colorado Springs.